Hi, Internet friends. Today is bonus tip day. I had a question pop up on Facebook regarding vertical logs and wanting to show this in plan view. How do we do that? So I thought I'd drop a video. Let's get started. Hey, thanks so much for watching these videos. I enjoy uh, leaving this information with you all. If you find this interesting, would you click like and subscribe down there? And if you think about it, drop me a tip. Uh, just a cup of coffee, paypal.me slash design build solutions. Uh, I'm gonna start with a basic box here of four walls. And I'm going to uh, change this wall to a wall type. I'm going to start with just a frame. Tell you what, I'm just going to define and we'll start a new wall right here. Let's call this wall uh, vertical logs. And it only has one layer. For now, I'm just going to say vertical logs is interior and exterior. And let's say the logs are evenly. Unfortunately, we can't show differences like variation of vertical logs. So we'll have to do um, 12 inches thick. Let's do a material. Let's search for log in materials. And let's select maybe this one. I'm going to select this one for now and we will go to plan materials and I don't want the horizontal siding. So I'm going to edit this and uh, I'm going to make sure keep pattern texture and sync is checked and go 90 degrees on the on the angle. And when I hit tab, this preview pane of the pattern and this preview pane of the texture should update. So tab out of that there, that's vertical and that's vertical. We'll click OK. OK. And for now, the fill, I don't have a pattern to start with. So I'm just going to click OK and get out of this. And you can see I've got the vertical logs shown interior and exterior. OK, uh, let's select all four of these, all the other three walls and make them the vertical logs also. Now let's show in plan view what that can look like with a fill. So I'm going to go to uh, CAD patterns and create a new pattern. We'll call this vertical logs. 12 by 12 is perfect. And I'm going to draw a circle from the edge middle of this box to the middle of this box. And so you'll see we've got a 12 inch diameter circle that's repeating vertically and horizontally. That's fantastic. I'm going to close this. And yes, we want to save that. And you guessed it. We want to make that pattern uh, be the fill of this wall type. So we'll go into library, user panel, vertical logs right there. Click OK. Whoops. Click OK. 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 All right. A couple things we noticed. First of all, let's do an automatic exterior dimension. You'll notice that I have parts of the fill. Half, you know, a quarter of this log and three quarters of this log. Same around this edge and a third and two thirds, maybe on the bottom. So in order to get around that nicely, I'm going to have to make this an even number of feet or an even multiple of whatever size log we just did. So an even multiple of 12 is what I'm going to have to do. If we did 16 inch logs, 16 inch wide um, walls, I'd have to change my fill pattern to 16 inch wide. So the length of this would have to be a multiple of 16. 
Um, so let's make it 14 feet. Actually, I'm going to have to adjust this just so that it fills one of my patterns here and then move this. It doesn't matter. I could have moved the bottom one and then adjusted the top. So let's make this 14 feet. This left one I happen to have just right. So let's make this 16 feet. So we're almost there. I really don't need this line interior and exterior. So let's go back into our wall types and define. And I'm going to make this line style and this exterior and interior line style just be a blank. And so when I click on this number one layer, I'm going to go to layer properties and do the blank layer line type there. And with number two, I do the same thing. Click OK and OK. And there you kind of have it. If you don't want this like to be trimmed off right there, what we could do is go back and edit our vertical logs, edit our pattern, and let's not take it quite to the edge. Let's say the diameter is 11 and 7 eighths. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to, it made these into two arcs. So I'm going to make a circle again. I deleted the, the um, arc there, so back to working set, make my circle again. And now I'll make it this 11 and 7 eighths. There we go. So it's not quite touching log to log, but it's really close. Um, and then if I close this and save it, it's, it's pretty close there. It looks like I'd actually have to bump it up just a smidge. Or, you know what it looks like I have to do is I have to define this fill pattern again. to the new vertical logs detail. There we go. When you zoom out, they, they look like they're touching. The other thing I could have done was left this at 12 inches, left the pattern at 12 inches, and just gone by wall type and done my um, fill scale as like 0.99 instead of 1.0. I think that would have worked as well. So there's a vertical log uh, pattern. Now on the exterior, that's what it looks like. On the interior, looks interesting. Um, I'd have to see details of how, you know, windows would be cased out and framed around there. I would guess you probably don't want to show um, actual framing so we'd want to just make this uh we did okay this this layer is not turned on framing so wall framing won't affect these walls um but anyway that's how i'd show it hope that's helpful thanks so much for watching again click like and subscribe down there follow along for more have a great weekend